Hello dear students, our today's topic is Propranolol. This drug is considered as sympatholytic drug and it is also called as adrenergic antagonist. This drug is non-selective beta blocker. So this drug antagonize the action of the neurotransmitter adrenaline and noradrenaline which are also called as epinephrine and norepinephrine on the beta receptors of the cardiac cells. So though they antagonize the action of adrenaline and noradrenaline, this drug propranolol find its use as anti hypertensive drug for treatment of hypertension it is also used as antiarrhythmic drug where it is placed in class 2 drug so this drug also find its use as antiarrhythmic for treatment of the tachyarrhythmia. Let's go for the synthesis of this drug. Synthesis of this drug starts with this starting material which is called as alpha naphthol it is also called as 1 naphthol the alpha naphthol reacted with this compound which is called as apichlorhydrin the reaction takes place in presence of aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide the hydroxy group of this naphthol attack on this carbon to bring about nucleophilic substitution reaction by release of a molecule of HCl. So the hydrogen and this Cl will be liberated out as HCl and thus we get formation of this very important ether. Now here we can see that this is the alkyl portion, this is the aryl portion and both the portions are attached with the oxygen so it is ether. This ether is called as, this is 1, 2 and 3, so it is called as 2, 3 epoxy propyl comma alpha naphthyl ether this ether then reacted with isopropyl amine here the propyl is shown by c3h7 
and this I stands for the iso group so it is simply the isopropyl attached with amino so it will become isopropyl amine this amino group attack on this carbon once again to bring about the nucleophilic reaction and this leads to give us the compound like this this is our desired compound which is called as propranolol next we go for the IUPC name of this compound the propranolol consists of this three carbon chain attached with the hydroxy group so the basic moiety present here is this one so this is called as propane to all we will start numbering over here this carbon is number one this will be number two and this will be number three we can see that the hydroxy group is on carbon number two so it is propane to all on carbon number one there is a substituent which is called as isopropyl amino on position number three we have this naphthalene ring attached with uh, oxygen so we will call it one naphthyl oxy so both the substituent groups are on one isopropyl amine on three we have one naphthyl oxy followed by the name propane to all we can see here that the carbon number two is a chiral carbon so due to this propranolol exists in the isomeric form and the propranol which is employed is a racemic mixture so that's why we will insert this configuration of both the R and S isomers into the name into the IUPC name of propranolol the propranolol is employed as its hydrochloride salt form which can be obtained by reaction of propranolol with HCl when hydrochloric acid reacted with propranolol this nitrogen undergoes quaternization the hydrogen then attaches on to the nitrogen so this amino group will then become a positively charged and with this quaternary nitrogen this Cl will be in the ionic bond like this so with this we will get propranolol hydrochloride so that is all about this medicinal compound propranolol thanks for watching the video thank you